Thanks for tuning in to our podcast, leaders, followers, and everything in between. We love having you here. It is our mission to bring you all of the latest and greatest tips and skills and know-how and how to make your personal life and business life the very best it can be. We know that you have it in you. We believe in you. We just want to show you how. Is social media a human right or is personal privacy a greater human right? In the age of social media, some say privacy is no longer a right. Do all citizens get to maintain their right to privacy? Is privacy a fundamental human right? Or does one's celebrity status relinquish their right to privacy? Some people say famous people, celebrities, CEOs, social media, personalities, authors, religious figures, and public figures lose their right to privacy. Their argument is that if the celebrity or well-known person was not famous, they wouldn't be able to make the money that they make based off of their celebrity. For example, they cite examples such as celebrities selling their photos of their weddings and photos of their children to reap large sums of money. So why should they keep their privacy? Isn't that such a small price to pay for all the fame and fortune? However, Article 17 of the International Covenant of Civil and Political Rights protects every single human being from unwanted and unlawful infringement of personal privacy. The law even states that home dwellings, family members, one's personal correspondence is protected under law. And currently there is a process underway to enforce and protect privacy laws. Recently, the Harper's Bazaar reported that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, have been getting scrutinized for their stance on keeping their family life high. In the same Harper's Bazaar article, Prince Albert of Monaco, a fellow monarch, weighed in. Prince Albert explained that he agreed wholeheartedly with Harry and Meghan for their policy of protecting their family's privacy, particularly against the notorious biting tabloid and media. Quote, you have to protect your personal life, your family, and your intimacy as much as possible, whenever possible, especially when you're a public figure with appearances to attend. Of course, that's harder to do than to say, Albert said. Most people would agree that respecting personal privacy and respecting boundaries is a God-given right. Nevertheless, in many instances, the fundamental right is ignored. Fundamentally, this is an issue of treating people the way you want to be treated. Would you want to have your privacy infringed upon? Would you like to have people constantly disregard your boundaries? Would you like your most intimate moments constantly violated or constantly interrupted by strangers? Of course not. This begs the question, is social media a human right or a personal right? Or is your personal privacy greater than your human rights? At the end of the day, it goes back to the fact that we must treat others the way we want to be treated. This is Gibson Sylvester signing off.